What's up guys and welcome to 31 Dervish, the Primalist Melee DPS Soul. This soul is the Primalist's best option for single target DPS currently and is a spec you should definitely have if you like to raid. Dervish provides some great single target damage, great cleave damage, and some really great bursts, so in this guide I'll show you where to put your soul points, which masteries to select, as well as how to play Dervish, so let's go ahead and take a look. Looking at the soul tree breakdown, you'll see we do the full 31 points into Dervish, that is specifically because at the bottom of the tree here we have Earthfall and Whirling Dervish, which are two really important channels to this build. So moving over to the secondary soul, we go 4 in Typhoon, that's 4 in Storm Strength, increasing your attack power and weapon damage by 16%. You also pick up a couple different AoE abilities down here that are awesome for like expert dungeons and stuff if you ever get stuck in Dervish. Moving over to the tertiary soul, we go 4 in Vulcanus, that's 4 in Furious Power, which increases your attack power and weapon damage by an additional 16%, so 32% collectively between these two right here, which is really strong because it scales really well. Also, for going forward in Vulcanus, you pick up Fury Blast, which is a really strong damage over time ability, and also Molten Wave, but we'll discuss that more later on. Moving on to the Masteries, level 61, we take Primordial Strength. This is going to allow your critical hits to apply a 3% max health Absorb Shield to you once every 6 seconds. It will also uh, extend the duration of your Cyclicism by 10 seconds, and we'll discuss more about what this does here shortly. Level 62, we take Steadfast Rejuvenation. This is going to allow, this basically makes it so when you're critically hit with a damage ability, the next single target heal you receive within 5 seconds has a 100% chance to critically hit, so this will help your healers out just a little bit. Also, it makes your Font of Savagery have 6 stacks instead of 5, so 5% 5 damage, or 6% damage increase instead of 5. Level 63, not, nothing too terribly important here, so we take Ursine Tenacity, which increases your unmounted movement speed by 10%. Level 64, we take Elemental Affinity. This is going to give you another 6% flat damage increase. Level 65, of course, we take Spiritualism, which is a single target damage increase there. So that's it for the Souls and Masteries, guys. Let's go ahead and discuss the macros. I don't use very many with this build, though. Starting at the top here, we have the single target macro. Um, you'll notice I do use a shift modifier, so how this works is if I hit my 1 key, which is where this macro is, it'll first fire Tectonic Spike, followed by Subduction, Aftershock. You get the idea. But if I hold Shift down and then hit the one key, it'll fire off Savage Twister. So this is just a way you can kind of streamline your build a little bit and use less keys. Um, also at the bottom here we have a cast that's self-spiritualism, that's this guy here. That's just so that you can uh, make sure that this is managed automatically for you. Um, it's actually here so that we can uh, preload it before a fight starts. Uh, moving on down we have the opener macro. This simply just has tectonic spike, seismic smash, and air cutter in it, and it's just used in the opener. So that's it for the macros guys, let's go ahead and discuss the action bar. So starting at the top left we have Font of Savagery, we discussed this briefly in the Mastery section. This is going to increase your damage by 5%, but with our Mastery we get an additional stack, which actually means it increases it by 6%. Moving over to the right we have Zephyr, this is going to be a move speed increase of 20%. Something to note about Zephyr is it will also increase 3 people around you's move speed by 20% also. So pretty good stuff there. Moving over to the right we have Weapon Aegis, this is simply just a planar attunement buff that you get that increases your endurance by 30 on the right here we have Font of Wit. If you're not familiar with Primalist, you can only have one font active at a time. Font of Wit increases your critical hit chance by 7%. Font of Savagery does 6% damage increase. Uh, the general consensus is that Font of Savagery is going to be your best bet, but Font of Wit is there just in case you decide to do um, some testing. Over the right one more, of course, we have Spiritualism. This is just here so that you can preload it on yourself before the fight starts. After that, it will be managed by your spam macro. Going down to the bottom here, we have our opener macro on our Z keybind. We have Primal Avatar Wind Serpent on Q. This ability is pretty important because it will increase your damage by 20%, increase your range with all dervish abilities by 35 meters, and also reduce all your cast times to zero. So pretty strong stuff there. That means that your air cutter here will be instant cast and your lashing wind uh, will, will be able to hit 35 meters away. So really good stuff there. Moving over to the right, on our E keybind, we have Whirling Dervish. Really strong AoE cooldown there. Uh, or a cleave damage rather. It's a really strong single target as well. But moving over to the R keybind, we have Earthfall, which is another extremely strong channel. Uh, over to the right, even more, we have a bunch of abilities here. These four abilities right here are going to be what's in your um, first macro here. Uh, this guy right here is Rock Slide, which is going to be a gap closer. It's an AoE, hits five enemies. And right here, we have Savage Twister, which is going to be a damage over time ability. This guy right here is also located in your one macro with a shift modifier. So moving on down to the main bar, we have the spam macro here. This is going to be all of your earth abilities. The main premise of this build is using an earth ability and then using uh, one of these air abilities back and forth, kind of similar to Shaman. So you use an earth ability and then you use Lashing Wind if you're trying to build Fury, or you use an earth ability and uh, air, cu air cutter if you're trying to build Cunning. But we'll discuss that more in the rotation section. 
So moving on over to the uh, four key here, we have Seismic Smash. This is going to increase the next three air cutters damage by 20%. Pretty strong stuff. On five, we have Fury Blast. You're going to use this as a filler and a part of your rotation. On six, we have Torrential Rain, which is going to be a damage over time AOE ability that you can use in you know expert dungeons or something. If, if you get stuck in Dervish, you need to do some extra AOE damage. Uh, same thing with Low Stability. This is going to be an eight second cooldown that you can use um, for those scenarios where you're stuck in Dervish and you need to do more AOE. On 8, we have Molten Wave. This is debatable whether or not you should use this, but we'll discuss it more in the rotation section. On 9, we have Shifting Wind. This is going to apply Shifting Wind to yourself, which means if you take a Killing Blow within 10 seconds after casting this, uh, instead of dying, it will just restore 50% of your health. So it's a nice little uh, saver just in case you run into some, some issues. Moving over to the middle, middle click here, or the zero key. Uh, Sirocco, this is going to be in your standard Interrupt and Debilitate. So really nice stuff there on a 20 meter range. On the minus key, we have Squall. This is going to be your single target pull. Something to note is this also will apply the 5% critical hit chance debuff, like a lot of the other builds in Rift do. Um, so you can use that for that purpose as well. And on the equals key, of course, we have our standard break free. It's pretty pretty uh, good stuff there. But that's it for the action bar, guys. Now let's go ahead and discuss K alerts briefly. So looking at the K alerts, there are quite a few things that we track. Nothing too crazy, though, so we'll get and hit edit layout. First thing you'll notice right here is we have our Savage Twister and we also have our Fury Blast. Those are the two damage over time abilities that you'll be using. It just simply tracks their duration. Moving over to the left, we have the Primal Avatar Wind Serpent ability here. This is simply just going to tell you how much time you have left until it wears off. Moving on down, you can see we have Lash Damage Instant Air Cutter. This is going to be your Quick Breeze procs. Uh, what this means is that uh, typically your Lashing Wind um, is melee range and only does about 12,000 damage. And your Air Cutter does a lot of damage but has a cast time. Well, the quick freeze proc will make this guy instant and make this guy do just about as much damage as air cutter. So you want to kind of keep track if you hit, make sure that you get those and you get those from using your earth abilities. Moving on down, we have seismic smash. This is going to make your next three air cutters have a 20% damage increase. This right here will tell you how much duration you have left on the buff and also how many stacks that you have left over to the right here. Moving on down, of course, we have our two cyclicism buffs here. This one right here is from going 100 to cunning and last. 30 seconds. This one right here is from going 100 to Fury and last 30 seconds as well. So if you're doing your rotation right, these right here should have 100% uptime and you'll have these buffs um, throughout a fight. But that's it for the K alerts, guys. Pretty straightforward stuff there. Now let's go ahead and discuss how to play Dervish. The single target Dervish rotation is actually not too terribly difficult. The main premise of it is you're trying to build to 100 Cunning so you can use your hard hitting Whirling Dervish, and then you're trying to build to 100 Fury so you can use your hard hitting Earthfall. The way that you're going to do that is you're going to use your Earth abilities with Lashing Wind back and forth. That's going to generate Fury. Or you're going to use your Earth abilities and Air Cutter back and forth, which will generate Cunning. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So the first thing, of course, you want to do is make sure that you have your Font of Savagery buff up. We do. We also have our Zephyr buff up. After that, you're going to target yourself. You're going to preload your Spiritualism. You're going to go ahead and target your, your Raid Boss dummy here. After that, you're going to use your opener macro three times, so Tectonic Spike, Seismic Smash, Air Cutter. Then you're going to use PA Whirling Dervish. Once that's done, we're going to do a Shift 1 for Savage Twister, Lashing Wind, Air Cutter, Air Cutter, Air Cutter, Seismic Smash, Lashing Wind, and Air Cutter three more times. Once that's done, we're going to go directly into Earthfall. After Earthfall, we're going to go uh, Lashing, Fury Blast, Savage Twister, Tectonic Spike, Seismic Smash, then Air Cutter, Subduction and then one and three back and forth basically for a while uh, here. So we're at Aftershock, Air Cutter, Tectonic Spike, Seismic Smash, right back into Whirling Dervish. So now that we're on Whirling Dervish here, we're going to go Shift 1, Lashing, Tectonic, Lashing. The reason we're doing the 1 2 1 2 dance here is because we don't have our PA up, so we don't want to be using a bunch of extra air cutters like we did previously. So now that we're at 100, we're using Earthfall. And once Earthfall is done, we're going to use Lashing, Fury Blast, Savage Twister, Tectonic Spike. Seismic Smash, Air Cutter, Subduction, and of course 3 and 1 back and forth a bunch now until we can use our PA stuff again. So Air Cutter, Tectonic Spike, Seismic Smash, and back into our PA and our Whirling Dervish. As you can see guys, we ended up about 53k or so, which is actually really good um, because this guy doesn't have a proccing trinket, also only has like 700 crit power, but my gear will be at the end of the video. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is this build is extremely crit centric. So if you don't have a lot of crit power or a lot of crit chance, um, you definitely want to try and work on that because these guys scale very well in raid and also scale very well with crit power. So something to keep in mind, um, it does definitely do pretty good uh, without uh, having very good gear though. So now we talked about the single target rotation guys, let's go ahead and discuss uh, the paltry AOE uh, DPS that you have in this spec. 
As a Dervish, the main source of your AoE damage is going to be coming from your Whirling Dervish, and it's almost not even worth using your AoE damage abilities uh, to, to use for AoE environments. It's almost better to just single target the mobs down. However, if you do decide to use your AoE rotation, you can pull a little bit of extra DPS with it. Here's how you do it. First thing you're going to want to do, of course, is pop your Primal Avatar Wind Serpent, followed by your Whirling Dervish. This is going to do massive amounts of damage. Once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and hit your Torrential Rain, followed by Low Stability, and then you're going to mash your Lashing Wind until you can get enough to use your Molten Wave. So once that's done, you're going to let your Molten Wave channel, you're going to keep going with your Lashing Wind, another Molten Wave. You're going to use your Low Stability here, and then you refresh your Torrential, and then keep going with your 2 to get back to your uh, Molten Wave. Use Molten Wave. Your Whirling Dervish is about to come back off cooldown, so we're going to go ahead and swap to Earth Abilities so we can make sure that we have enough for our Whirling Dervish. And then you're going to use your Whirling Dervish. And again, you're going to keep going with your 2 key so you get to Molten Wave. Torrential Rain is back up, so you're going to use that, followed by your Low Stability, and then back to your 2 key to generate more Fury for Molten Wave. As you can see, we're doing like, you know, 1 teams, something like that. So nothing too crazy or anything, it's, it's just there just in case you have like to clear a trash pack or something and you're stuck in Dervish. Dervish is definitely not one of those souls you want to be using specifically for AoE, although Whirling Dervish is an extremely nice cooldown for cleaving. But that's it guys, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps out and I will see you guys next time.